Heyo YouTube, it's Red Alchemy here, and welcome back once again to Let's Play Let's Go Pikachu. So, sorry there was a couple of days without videos there, guys. Uh, the weekends are the most busy time for me, so uh, Saturday and Sunday I will try to always get videos out, but every now and then it may not happen. But, uh, yeah, so we're back, though, to videos uh, once a day again, so let's go ahead and get back into Let's Go Pikachu. I actually might have a new Let's Play starting... Uh, very soon tomorrow um, some of you might know what it is just by knowing what tomorrow's date is uh, but yeah so we'll we'll discuss that when it happens so let's go ahead and play some Pokemon uh, last time we found out we're supposed to be going into this cave here is what is it Diglett's cave is that right yeah Diglett's cave um, but I think what I want to do first is go down whatever route this is uh, does it even say oh look do we have that I don't know if we have a drowsy I feel like Maybe I caught a drowsy? No, there's no way. I think we fought a drowsy. So this is new. Alright, let's go ahead and catch this drowsy. I didn't expect that to happen quite that fast. It's so cool. I love the sound effects that come from... Oh, did you hear it? I don't know if... I was talking, sorry. Uh, I don't... The, the drowsy made his little cry. I love the cries that, you, that the, the Pokemon make from the Pokeball. Especially whenever you have it in there. Oh, which reminds me, we need to get Growlithe out of the... Because I, I put Growlithe in in between last time, but I've had him in there for like three days now. No joke. Uh, so everyone's leveling up here. But I think Growlithe is going to level up quite a bit more than I meant for him to, to. So he might be one of our stronger Pokemon. We'll see. Alright, so Drowsy was definitely new. It says, if you sleep by it all the time, it will sometimes show the dreams it had eaten in the past. Oh, show you dreams it had eaten in the past. That's cool. So, I really like Drowsy. I feel like maybe I should add him into the party, actually. Um, but, okay, before anything, I want to go see how many levels we're going to get for Growlithe, because I think it's going to be way too many. Uh, I'll skip, if it's like a whole bunch of levels, I'll skip the little time that it takes to, to level up, because it's just the same noise over and over. It's horrible. Alright, so let's take Growlithe back from the stroll. I tried to respond to every time he wanted to play or whatever, um, but there were times, like, at my job, I just, I, like, I'm, I work with, uh, like, the public, I'm around people, so I, I can't really just stop and push the button on the Pokeball if I'm talking to a customer, so uh, I would try, I literally would sometimes try and just reach my pocket casually and push the button, so I did answer it quite a bit, we'll see what it says. 34,000 experience, oh my god! Oh, guys, I'm so sorry. Okay. I'll be right back. Okay, so yeah, we'll uh, we'll learn Flamethrower. Okay, so what is Heat Wave? Let's find that out. Let's get rid of Ember. I don't think we need three fire moves. Yeah, I feel I feel pretty confident about, confident about that. I just want to get through this and get back to the game, because this is taking forever. Alright, there we go. Level 31. And of course, he's learning another move. Let's see. Outrage. I am outraged right now. I didn't mean to level him up that much. It's just, it's way too easy to level him up like this. Okay, so Outrage is 120. Oh yeah, then it becomes Confused. Is that worth it? It rampages and attacks for two to three turns, then becomes Confused. Um... You know what? I honestly don't think I want that move enough to do it, so we're just not going to learn Outrage. I know it's probably a really nice move, but being confused is just so frustrating. So we'll just keep old moves. I'm pretty happy with this move set right now. Alright, so this is what I wanted to see. So we walked together for 29,000 steps, is that right? Of this stroll? Wow, that's crazy. And then I replied to 8 callouts out of 9, nice. Uh, worked hard in Pokemon Go. Oh yeah, I did collect. I forgot about that. I did uh, connect, I mean, to the, the Pokeball Plus to my Pokemon Go app for the first time while I had Growlithe in there too. So and that's probably what he got the extra experience for too. Alright, so we got a bunch of candies. And we reached 52,000 total. Nice. Alright. Of course, it saves the game. Let's get back into the game now and just go through. We're going to definitely add Growlithe into our party so he uh, can actually, so we can re reap the rewards from him leveling up. 
Uh, let's replace Persian. Yeah, yeah, because we should be able to ride on Arcanine, too. I don't know when Growlithe will evolve into Arcanine, but it has to be soon. Alright, maybe it will be, like, the next level up, you know what I mean? Maybe uh, it would have already leveled up if it hadn't been that it would leveled up through the Pokeball. Okay. So, let's change the name. Oh, you can change the name on the fly? That's so cool. Okay. Uh, okay, I'm sorry. I'm getting really confused here. How do I... Uh, oh, yeah, okay. We have to go over here, don't we? There we go. Okay. Where is my Growlithe? Level 31 Growlithe. Okay. Let's replace Persian. There we go. That's what I was trying to do. Alright, so now I want to make Growlithe the head of the party. Ooh, no, because I don't want him to get all the experience, so we'll use him as, like, a backup. Uh, oh, and Drowsy. We'll, we'll, we'll deal with Drowsy later. Let's fight this guy first of all. I think that's the, the first thing we need to do. Don't you like Route 11? The double ones in its name are so cool. And guess what? I'm the coach trainer on Route Double One. I am a coach trainer. Think you can take me on? Yeah, I totally can. I won't hold back. Yeah! I just would rather do this first before going into Diglett's Cave. I hate the cave so much that I, I just want to put it off at all costs. Alright. Coach Trainer Will. Alright, so we can definitely take Rattata out with Pikachu. I don't think that'll be a problem. Let's, um... I don't know. Let's just try... Oh, sh crap. Didn't mean to do that. I meant to try to do... I was trying to do Zippy Zap. Oh man, yeah, Slam didn't do anything. Alright, well that's okay. Did his move a miss? I was not really reading it. Alright, Zippy Zap. Get him. Ooh, wow, that didn't do much damage either. That's crazy, and it was a critical hit. I probably need to level up some more. That's the whole point of this too, so uh, we're, it's fine. We're leveling up. I'm doing what I'm supposed to, right? <laughs> Let's try a double kick, see what that does. At least that'll hit a second time. Yeah. There we go. We got it. We did it. And it was super effective, too. Should've just done that first, I guess. I really hope we can get the Arcanine soon, though. So maybe I should try and level up Growlithe again. I know that sounds ridiculous, because I just leveled him up like a hundred times. Literally, it was like 15 or 16, maybe even 17 levels. Alright, you're strong. You got me in a good mood, so take these. Got five Pikachu candies. What do the candies do in this game? You put the candies in your candy jar. If you use a Pikachu candy, Pikachu will get much stronger. If you want to get candy for a specific Pokemon, try catching that species over and over, or send them to the professor. Okay, yeah. I was wondering what the... I guess they raised the CP, because CP is a thing in this game. That makes sense. Okay. Let's fight this kid. Let's go, but don't cheat. What makes you think I was going to cheat? Do I look like a cheater? I don't know, maybe I do. My, my character does look kind of sketchy, to be honest. But this, kid, this kid's name is Eddie, so he's way sketchier than I am. Okay. I feel like I should switch out to another Pokemon, but I want to level Pikachu up a little more, so we're going to try and just fight stuff with him for a minute. I mean, he's my, my partner Pokemon. Oh, nice, cool. I didn't expect it to be that easy. But uh, he is my partner Pokemon, so I feel like I should try and keep him leveled up the most, and now we have a level 31 Growlithe, so, uh, yeah, we're not doing the best at doing that. Pokeballs. Stop giving me Pokeballs. I don't want Pokeballs. I want Great Balls or Ultra Balls. I don't think I've even got any Ultra Balls yet. I was, uh, watching a video about some of the rare Pokemon that you can catch just out in the wild, and there's some pretty crazy Pokemon. You can definitely catch all three of the starters. It's like a very low percent chance, and you have to use some, like, a, a, a lure to get certain ones. So, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll do some of that later in the game, maybe. Or I might even do some of that, like, off-screen and try and just record it so I can make a, a little short video showing you the best ones I've caught. Uh, so you have to watch everything, you know. But, uh, we'll see. We'll see how that goes. I really want a Vulpix. I would love an Alolan Vulpix. That would be really cool. Now that I know you can get uh, a lowland Pokemon in this game. Alright, we beat this guy. I think we're good. Gentleman Wilco. You saw this coming? I don't think you did. <clears throat> Alright, let's try and 
get through this last little bit of the route here so we can go on to Diglett's Cave. I don't want to explore all the way to the next city or anything, but I'm sure there's going to be a part where I, I can't go any further down this route, because it wants me to go in Diglett's Cave. There's a lure. Speaking of the lures, it's kind of a hard word for me to say for some reason. What do you got to say? Hey, do you always turn off lights? Uh, oh, I think he was asking in a positive way. Do you always turn off lights? Like, uh... I guess he's an electrician. An engineer Bernie. They should have made him an electrician. That would have made more sense with his joke. Or just made a better joke. You know. Okay. I don't think this is going to be the best idea, but <laughs> let's try instead of a, a thunder, uh, like an electric fight, or an electric move. I can't think of the word move. Uh, let's try something else. There we go. It's super effective, and it hit two times. Cool. See, it's really nice that Pikachu knows something other than electric. Uh, just because whenever we go up against electric Pokemon, we don't have to use only an electric move. Alright, let's switch. I think that would be the best. See, and he has electric type Pokemon. This dude should have been an electrician, not an engineer. Um, hmm. Let's do... Alright, we'll do Mew. I should have just kept Pikachu, honestly, because we need to level Pikachu up. But I feel bad giving all the experience to one Pokemon. Alright, let's do Swift. There we go. Alright. What else you got, Pokemon? Let's go. Come on. Come at me. Gloom grew to level 26. That's the weirdest face in the world there. And three Pokeballs. God. I need Great Balls. I mean, at least I've got 100 Pokeballs now. Way more than 100, honestly. That was an under-exaggeration, because I definitely have more than 100. I've got like 1,000, probably. Okay. Uh, looks like there's a couple more trainers here. Three more trainers, it looks like. Alright, yeah. Let's just complete this little, uh, last little route here. Win, lose, or draw. This might be just a, a Route 11 episode, it turns out. I thought I would get to Diglett's Tunnel this time, but I may not. Alright, Gamer Yugo. It looks like he plays dice games, though. I'm sure he doesn't have a PS4. Or a Nintendo Switch. I guess I should say Nintendo Switch. Since we are playing a Nintendo Switch, after all. Oh, that was dumb. This is a ground-type Pokemon. Oh my god. See, this is what happens when I talk. Ooh, that's cool looking. Didn't do much. Oh my god, I thought... Whoa, it's a one-hit KO. That's crazy. That's the first time we've had someone faint, I think. Maybe not. Alright, let's try Growlithe. Let's just throw him out. Maybe we'll level him up and evolve him. Okay, so... Let's maybe try... I guess Flamethrower. I should have done Heat Wave. Ha! My, I was unaffected by his move this time. That's right! Take that! Because I've got a level 31 Growlithe. Growlithe to the rescue. He's pretty close to leveling. He's like halfway to leveling up. Alright. More Pokeballs. Oh my god. Okay, we're going to have to use a Revive then on Pikachu. Nope, not Pokedex. Oh my god. That's the one complaint I have about this Pokeball Plus, is that the joystick is very sensitive, and sometimes whenever you're trying to uh, choose one thing, it'll go to the next item and choose that instead. Alright, revive, use this on Pikachu. I'm sorry, Pikachu, I didn't mean to let you die. Um, we'll do a potion, too, just to give him a little bit more er, uh, health. And we should be good now. Alright. God, who knew that Diglett was going to be the strongest Pokemon we fought here? I'm the strongest among my friends. Now, everyone says that, though, don't they? Sailor Yasu. Are these normal Japanese names? Like, I just really feel like some of these names are completely made up. I could be wrong. I don't know. 
But I watch a lot of anime, so like, <laughs> I've heard a few Japanese names. Alright, Zippy Zap, what you got? Yeah, one hit wonder. I wish mine said that it was a one hit KO whenever I got a one hit KO. That Fisher move must be just something special. <clears throat> Alright, Sailor Yasu, I gotcha. He gave me three Pokeballs again. At least I'll never have to buy Pokeballs again, right? I raised my Pokemon carefully. They should be ready by now. What, are you going to cook them? Like, are you going to make food out of them? That's the way it sounds. Last Tomo Tomoe. Okay, I've heard that name before. That's a pretty normal Japanese name. Am I just thinking of uh, Tomoeda from Card Capture Sakura? Tomoeda, what was it, Tomoeda Elementary or something? Okay, let's do Zippy Zap. See if we can take out this Jigglypuff. Nice, okay. Alright, we're just gonna have to put Pikachu in the Pokeball in between this and next time because we're not getting nearly enough experience points from this stuff to level up fast enough. To keep up, that is. All right, let's uh, let's just keep battling with Pikachu. We took out that other Nidorino with a Zippy Zap. It's just such a good move, and like you totally wouldn't have ever got this move if you hadn't talked to that guy, just this random guy. So that's why I talk to everyone. It's just the best way to go through these games without like a guide or anything. Alright, Pikachu to level 25. It's about time he leveled up. Only one level though, and we got a ridiculous amount from uh, the Pokeball. Okay. Let's just check around. Get that Pidgey out of the way. I don't want to catch that. No, don't talk to Mew. Ooh, five Great Balls. Alright, cool. That was totally worth it. Nice. Alright, I just want to see what it says when I go in here, because I know it's not going to let me go through. It's going to be like, oh, you can't go through here or something. No? Really? So I can just go out the other side? So what's over here, then? Why is it telling me to go through Diglett's Cave? I don't think I should go this way yet. I don't want to play the game out of order. Like, Oh, okay, what's this? What do you got to say? Uh, I want to head over to Lavender Town, but there's this huge Pokemon in the way, sound asleep. Okay. There's a Snorlax over there. Hi, remember me? I'm one of Professor Oak's assistants. The professor told me to tell uh, told me that if your Pokedex has good data on 30 species of Pokemon, I'm to give you the judge function. So, Red Chan, let me ask you, have you gathered data on at least 30 species of Pokemon? Yes, I have. Maybe? 26? I thought for sure I'd hit 30 by now. What? Ugh. Alright, so we gotta catch six more for this guy. Alright, well that was pointless. Let's, uh, <laughs> I guess get back to the game. Okay, well, we'll just, we'll come back to Route 11 some other time. We'll need to go ahead and go to Diglett's Tunnel or whatever. Let's at least start it, see how far into it we can get. Um, oh, here's another item. X Defense. So that was pretty much Route 11, I guess. And... Oh, okay, one more. One more engineer. Uh, hello, do you use electricity electricity safety at home? See, these should be electricians. These are totally meant to be electrician, I swear. Um, engineer Braxton? Like, what? What? Voltorb. Okay. Let's do a double kick, since it's a, uh, an electric type Pokemon. 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 Alright. Voltorb's down. Was that the last one? I wasn't looking. Yep, that was the only one. Isn't there, like, a, a lady on Celebrity Big Brother right now? Tamar Braxton? Ooh, hey, there's a Raticate. Cool. I don't think I have that. See, this is what I need. I need more of new Pokemon. I haven't. I've only caught 26 Pokemon. What in the world? I really thought I'd caught more than that. Oh, that was way off. Yeah, it kind of was actually. Okay, here we go. Hey, it was a great throw, at least. 
Nice. Alright, you caught a eradicate. What did I say? I don't know what I said. Oh, Pidgeotto uh, leveled up at least. I think once I get to Pidgeot, I might switch it out. I don't know. I just, I'm not really using it, but I do want to level it up to Pidgeot at least. Uh, its hind feet are webbed. They act as flippers so it can swim in rivers and hunt for prey. Alright, so we have Eradicate now. I'll never use it because I hate Eradicate, but uh, we have it <laughs> at the very least. Nothing down there. I thought there was a, a trail down there. There's a bunch of Eradicate now. Damn. Okay. Uh, don't talk to me. Come on. There we go. A super potion. We got a few good items in Route 11 at least. Oh, and we haven't fought this guy either. Ah, uh, fwa ha ha I have never lost. Well, I'm sorry, but you're about to. Sailor Dirk. Dirk gently. If no one's ever uh, read those books, you should definitely check them out. Very good. Well, the author, uh, the same guy that wrote uh, Hitchhiker Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, I believe. Very good books, though. Alright, Poliwag, you did. I would really like Poliwag. That would be a really cool Pokemon to get. I love the Poliwag series. Uh, especially that they added in Politoed later, too. I like Politoed a lot. I never evolve it to Politoed, though. I always go Poliwrath. I don't know why. Alright, Geodude wants to learn the move Rock Slide. Let's see. What do we got? Um, I feel like I should do Self Destruct, but we'll do Sand Attack. Yeah. Ta da! He learned Rock Slide. Machop. Um, no, we'll keep battling. I can take out a Machop. Surely I can take out a Machop. Alright, Zippy Zap again. Alright, and that should be it for Route 11, it looks like. Unless I manage to see like a new Pokemon I haven't caught in the next couple minutes. Alright, we beat Dirk. Three Pokeballs. Everyone there gave me Pokeballs. That's weird. I wonder why, like, as you go further in the game, they don't go to giving you only Great Balls. Alright, so, um, I feel like I should probably heal before I go into Diglett's Cave, but I don't know. I just, it's a lot of work, and I don't really feel like doing it. So we're just going to jump straight into it. Let's go into Diglett's Cave, guys. <laughs> All right, let's see what this guy has to say. <clears throat> well, I'll be. Did you know this huge long tunnel? It was dug entirely by Diglett. Yeah, someone's told me that like five times already. Is it just a big, like, long straight cave? Or is it an actual, like, maze? See, that? like, this is what I'm talking about. And the old, what is it? Oh, that's Diglett. Oh, my God, Diglett. Yes, finally. It was a little tiny thing. It didn't even look like a Pokemon. Oh, I love Diglett. I might add Diglett in my party. I like it a lot. Okay, uh, but, uh, yeah, in the original games, you know, you would be running into Pokemon every few feet. And with this, you can just run straight through the caves. So the caves really aren't that bad. I don't know why I don't like them still. I think I just have trauma as a child. <laughs> so, six, so we are at, we should be at 29 now, right? We are really close to being able to go back and get that judge uh, function, whatever that is. But, uh, oh, I, I skipped it, sorry. <clears throat> well, we'll see, though. We'll see how far this cave goes, uh, how long it takes to get through it. Okay, I don't need more diglets. Although, if uh, catching more, like, multiples of the same Pokemon does make, uh, make it more likely to get shiny Pokemon, a place like this would be perfect, because you'd just run into the same Pokemon over and over. Alright, so was that it? Was that really Diglett's Cave? I was so scared of Diglett's Cave, and that's all it was. Oh my god. I've heard that there's a tunnel even darker inside than this one somewhere. Somewhere out there. Yeah, there's probably one that you have to use Flash to get through, or something like that. I, I vaguely remember that. Alright, so we're on Route 2 now. Oh yeah, look guys, we were over there earlier, remember? Why wouldn't they just have this, like, to where you can get through? That's ridiculous, that's bad designing. Uh, there's an Oddish and a Weedle over there. I was trying to make sure there wasn't anything that I, like, needed. <laughs> Alright, cool. So, uh, I thought maybe I could go in the back. 
Red Chan, how do you know my name? Remember me? I'm one of Professor Oak's assistants. I'm so glad I ran into you. Why don't I show you a neat trick? Actually, no, it's a little too bright out here. Inside, I'll be waiting to show you. Whenever you're ready, Red Chan. That is sketchy. I would, nope, no way. I would not go in that house. You are about to walk into this random person's house who literally was like, it's too bright out here. We need to go inside. Like, what is he gonna do to me once I get in here? Okay, it seems, oh, what, what is the boy doing standing in the corner? What are you doing? What have you done to him? What does his face look like? If he turns around, is he gonna have just no nose or something? Do you do it like experiments to these kids? I need to get out of here, oh my god. Okay, he says, so you came. Let's go down, or let's get down to brass tacks. I've got something good to show you. Oh god. Believe it or not, I have mastered the secret technique, the light up. We were just talking about that. It's flash. Uh, now, let me turn off the lights. Oh, oh my god, he's about to turn the lights off. This is the sketchiest interaction I've ever had in a video game. There, nice and dark. Now, if you calm your heart and breathe deeply, you will be able to sense your surroundings no matter how dark it is. Is he telling me to feel? Uh, I'm sorry, that was the sketchiest, weirdest interaction I've ever had with an NPC. Alright, see? It seems bright, even with the lights off. Uh, my keen focus spreads the, to those around me, you see. Here, I can teach you how to do it too. Pikachu! Pikachu. Huh? It seems Pikachu wants to learn it instead. What? And you say it already knows the secret technique chop down? I see, Professor Oak had mentioned it, but it really does seem that your Pikachu is special. Fascinating. Let me try to teach it. Here, let me turn the lights uh, off the lights again. Now Pikachu, follow what I do. Calm your heart, breathe deeply, and sense your surroundings. <clears throat> so if Pikachu is sensing my surroundings, how is it going to light things up for me? <laughs> your Pikachu, it really is quite wonderful. Now I use secret techniques to your heart's content. Since they're not moves, you can use them even if your Pokemon doesn't have the energy to battle. Okay, let's go talk to this kid. I gotta get his story. Why are you here? You can get through the rock tunnel if you use the secret technique light up. Do you know where you find the rock tunnel? Uh, where you find where the rock tunnel is? Uh, you'll find it if you head east from Cerulean City. Okay, so we gotta go back to Cerulean City, really? Well, we need to catch one more Pokemon then, because uh, I wanna go get that Judge technique, whatever that is. Oh, here's uh, YouTube. <laughs> oh, Red Chan. Did you learn how to use Light Up from Pro Professor Oak's assistant too? So he got you to go in there too? What is it? He's getting all these little young boys to go into his house and turn the lights off. Something's up here. Uh, did you learn how to use Light Up? Oh yeah, I already said that. What? You didn't learn it, but Pikachu did? Yeah, I didn't have to learn it. I don't need that brain, or I don't need to waste that space in my brain. <laughs> that partner of yours is really amazing, Red Chan. Hey, you know what? I actually know some place where you might be able to use it. Want me to take you there? Yeah, let's go together. All right, well, we'll be there in no time. Come on, cool. So we don't have to walk all the way back there, nice. Although now I can't go get the judge function, oops. Well, whatever. Hopefully it's not anything too important. Alright, so just head east from here, or east here from Cerulean City. That's this direction, got it? In case you don't know. Just keep going this way and you'll eventually hit this uh, cave system called the Rock Tunnel. I hear it's pitch dark. But, uh, but if you use light up though, you don't have to be scared of the dark. See you around. Alright, cool. So uh, we got light up, which is flash basically. And we are back in Cerulean City now, but before we go over and do that, I want to go get that Bulbasaur. I don't remember where it was at, but it was somewhere over here. And uh, we need to catch one more Pokemon for sure that we don't have. Let's see maybe if there's one down here. I'm not going to waste a lot of time doing this. If it takes a while, I'll just cut. But if we can catch one more Pokemon, we should be able to go get a Bulbasaur. I believe there's nothing new there. All right, well let's go back uh, up. I'm gonna leave Magikarp in the daycare still. I know I'm a horrible parent. All right, let's go back up here and just check up above Cerulean City. Okay, so I guess there's a dead end here. All right, well I'm just gonna cut to whenever I found 
the uh, the 30th Pokemon, and we'll then we'll then go get Bulbasaur. All right, guys, I'll see you in just a second. Okay, let's just go over into the new cave and uh, see if maybe we can find one there. I feel like maybe that's the best bet, right? Oh yeah, right there, right there, Nidoran. Oh my god, I want up there so bad. Why can't I just... Oh, I'm right there. It's right there. Oh, there's an Reno too. Okay, so we're definitely on the right track here. Um, unfortunately, I don't think we're going to do it this time, guys. Uh, we're going to have to fight this girl next time. I just think that I've run out of time this time. But next time, before we go into the cave, I will go ahead and catch a couple more Pokemon, and we'll go back and get a Bulbasaur. So next time, we will for sure get Bulbasaur, guys. Uh, sorry that this was kind of a waste of time, but... I was really hoping that I could just catch one more, go get a Bulbasaur, and it would be done, but it's fine, it's whatever. Uh, we'll go ahead and save the game now, and uh, just next time we play, we'll get a Bulbasaur. And then we'll go into the Rock Cave, or whatever it is, uh, use Flash, which is not Flash anymore, apparently. I guess, uh, you know, now that I think about it, the move Flash would have been a little bit a little bit inappropriate, right, uh, to, to, to be taught from that guy. <laughs> okay, sorry, enough with the jokes, I'm sorry. Alright, well that'll be it guys. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. I release videos every day of the week, so hit that subscribe button and the bell next to it to get notifications every time I upload. Alright, that's it for now guys. Thank you so much for watching, and everyone have a great life.